watching Morning Live, South Pal published author Snetemba Mtetwa has penned down books such as Never Give Up, The Fallacy of Cohabitation, as well as her latest offering titled The Power of Decision Making. Love, dating, self-respect, creating a viable business and sustainable employment are just some of the issues Snetemba highlights and frankly talks about in her books and inspirational talks. While well, she's here in studio to talk to me about her love for writing and motivating the youth. Snetemba Gutkubwana, thank you so much for making the time to come on the show. Thank you so much for having me here. Before we get into your latest book, let's talk about your previous offerings. Briefly give us a glimpse into what those were about. Never give up and the fallacy of cohabitation. Okay, uh, never give up. It's actually about my life. Um, and I'm like talking about self-respect. The, the th I'm touching on the things that I feel like people lack. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that that's just about it. And uh, people find reason to everything. So I'm just highlighting that. Uh, like I'm talking about dating and achievement. Do you find out that someone says I got pregnant, then I drop out of school? That is just an excuse. You know, you can still go back to school. So it's just an encouragement, more especially to the youth, to say whatever situation you've been through or you are going through, you can still conquer and you can still find your feet and move forward. And the fallacy of cohabitation, we were talking about it briefly of a iPhone, I keep it. I, I know keep it. I keep it. Yeah, well, uh, because you might be with a guy that's supposed to be uh, married to someone. But you are keeping that person in your in the house, and you are delaying a a, a, a a future for another woman. So go find your own husband. Go ho wait home, and uh, wait wherever you can wait. And then God will send you a right man who's going to pay lobola, and your parents will ask you to move in to his house. All right, let's talk about the power of decision making, which is of course your latest book. We know a lot of people tend to struggle with making ama decisions. What motivated you to write that book and what is it all about? Well, uh, you know, like what I've been through actually, um, I've been unemployed for a very long time um, before I decided to start writing. Well, I was doing short courses, doing that, trying that, and I realized that I don't fit. So I then decided to say no. But why am I doing these things? What else I know would say, and then then running away from it because of my challenges, of which I'm and yeah, yes, Gunzima. But it's something that I like, so I had to make the decision, you know. Someone like, uh, uh, you are with this person and you are not happy, you know. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. You are not happy. And then maybe so why, why keep uh, uh, um, uh, doing it for the sake of doing it? Mm. Why not step, step up and make a decision for yourself to say, okay, this is not what I want. This is not what I, I signed for. And then make a decision because there's no one who's going to come into your rescue and make a decision on your behalf. At least God, that's what he gave all of us equally to say, you make a decision yourself. All right. Just on a personal level and on a level of being a writer. Well, I think experience is the best teacher. That's what they say. And I also witnessed that. So that is why I like to talk about what I went through because I can stand and answer for that. Unlike something that I heard someone saying. So that is why I choose, I choose to write about what I went through. And I feel like I went through those particular things for a reason. Maybe to assist somebody out there. Maybe, and you know, they make me strong. They make me who I am. Like sometimes when I feel like something that was supposed to make me feel pains, uh, nowadays I'll be like, <laughs> try again. <laughs> yeah, when, then right. So uh, I think that it was for a reason. That is why I had to go through those things. That is why I choose to write about them. You are quite passionate about young people, Uksiza Inch. Uh, you know, you, you are very concerned about the social ills that young people face today and helping people who come from impoverished backgrounds. Uh, I'll still like about that work and why you're so passionate about helping, especially the youth. Well, I feel like 
um, when I was in school, more especially high school, if I was exposed to this kind of life that I'm exposed to now, I would have made better decisions than the ones that I made. So I just took it up to myself to say, I'm gonna make sure that I guide the youth in, in my own experience, based on my own experience, I will guide the youth to the right path. And or, you even formed your own organization? Yes, I did. Tell us about that. Uh, the name of the organization is Big Eagle Youth Development. It's based in Atridgeville, but now we, we are in Manguzi, in KZN. Yeah. Uh, it, basically, we, it's a centre whereby we, we collect the youth, trying to, as I said, to keep them away from the streets, keep them away from sugar daddies. I mean, they're out there, you know. So uh, when, when a child is from a poor background, let me say, uh, and then we peer pressure. and then Then at the end of the day, we pressure. So I'm try What we're trying to do is to guide them away from that and just to get them focused. All right, Netemba, thank you so much for your time and all the best and continue with the amazing work that you're currently doing. Thank you. Siabanga Kulu, speaking to us about her books, Never Give Up, The Fallacy of Cohabitation and the Power of Decision Making is author, entrepreneur and creative actress Netemba Mtetwa. We take a quick break. We have more for you coming up after this.